So this is a quick video about how we can organize our sheet music when we've got separate sheets. Ideally, we're purchasing music online. Sometimes that's been a little bit more difficult recently. For example, I had a piece of music that was out of print, but um, there's a great website called IMSLP where you can download sheet music that is out of copyright. So for example, this is a piece of Mozart, the 12 variations. So I was able to download this and print it out so that I could use it quite quickly and promptly. Um, you can sign up to that website and support them financially because it's a great website. Um, so there is the option to do that. But yeah, this is pretty useful. If you can't, ideally, I would recommend that you purchase your sheet music and, um, and really enjoy having the original books. But sometimes that is just not possible. And quite often there are modern arrangements that are um, of pop songs, film music, computer game music. It's been arranged and then is for sale. So you can purchase that online, print it. But then how do you organise your music so it's a little bit more enjoyable to play? There are all sorts of ways of doing it. I, For me, I think this is the most useful way. So you need a hole punch and I'm going to take that out to A4 and some sellotape, ideally a ring binder. This is how I like to have the music organised. Lots of people use different methods. I would like, I would prefer a smaller ring binder, but that's okay for now. So what you're going to do is you're going to... Put your sheet music out and arrange it as if it would be like a book and you're turning the pages. So we've got pages one and two, two would turn over. So this page three needs to go back to back there. There's page four, turn over like a page, so page five goes on the reverse side of that. Six, turn over, seven on the reverse side, and here's our last page. All right, so turn that over as if it's a page and then just pop them together. For me, I hole punch them. Also, as a pianist playing for lots of singers, I much prefer to have my music organised, whereby I can turn the pages as if it were in the book. A separate uh, sheets of music for me um, is, yeah, not very easy to turn whilst I'm playing. Sometimes it's separate sheet music. You don't, you're not even turning them, you're just sliding them across and sometimes it just gets in a bit of a muddle. So I would do that. Then I would put them in my ring binder because then it's keeping them together. Get my sellotape ready. And then open the first page. Great, well that's already a good start. It feels like I'm looking at a book, much more enjoyable. My music's not going to fall off the page and get into a mess on the floor halfway through a piece of music. So next we're just taking a little bit of sellotape. You can do this in two ways. The thing that what I really want to tell people is do not do a long strip of sellotape all the way down here. Okay that's really tricky because it ultimately it kind of curls itself onto the page and the page doesn't want to turn. Now at this point it's up to you. If you think that you're not going to want to carry it in a ring binder that you're just going to have the music on its own, and then you might want to lay out a few sheets or something, then you ought to sellotape your pages like a hinge, okay? So you would sellotape it across here. I'm gonna put it back in the hole punch actually for you to see that. So if you're not going to use the hole punch, just pretending that's not there, and you might want to flatten out and say have a three page spread across the, across the piano, then your, mu your music can be sellotaped with a hinge like this. So I'm holding this horizontal and I would hinge it over the edge. I might as well just do that anyway. So I'm gonna hinge that over the edge. You can get sellotape that's great because you can write on it as well. This one isn't at the moment, but that's fine. That would create a hinge. Ultimately, when it's out of the book, you can hinge it open, no problem. I know that I'm happy to just have it like this. I'm not going to want to hinge that open. So I found a way that I find most easy, particularly if it's a situation where someone's going to page turn. Remember, we're not using music in copyright. We're music, using music that is um, eligible for this. Do not just randomly photocopy all sorts of music. You can get into trouble and it's not fair, you know. The composer has written the music. So for example, like this, ideally you would purchase the book, wouldn't you? And then you'd support the publishing company. 
and we all help one another. But in circumstances like some of my students, it has not been possible. Um, here is how we're going to just stick this together. So uh, we do a, I have created a little tab that's gone over and that is so satisfying for turning the page. So you prepare that little fold like that. Don't, don't score it down, otherwise it'll get stuck, but a little fold and you're able to turn the page really easily. And if someone's page turning for you, if this is someone's vocal music, a little fold at the top, they can easily grab that for you. I have played for so many courses where I'm accompanying singers particularly, and I'm presented with the most horrendous sheet music. And the photocopies, are you don't get all the music on there. Yes, they're photocopying music because they've got the book, the original book, you're allowed to do that. You, if you own, if you have purchased legitimately the original book for the purpose of like providing your accompanist with the music, you're allowed to just make a little photocopy of that. But um, so here we've, this is how we're going to get this. I'm holding this on a slant, meeting the corner here. Then I just tuck over and I've put those pages back to back. Tuck that edge over there, tuck that edge over there, and that's your tab for the corner. And repeat. Sometimes if I'm in a hurry and I've been given a bundle of horrendous music and I'm trying to put it together to get ready for playing for the soloist, um, I have had to, I've only had time to sellotape one side. If I'm on my own, I'll get that bottom of the page sellotaped. If I've got someone helping me out with the page turns, I will do the top, but ideally you would do the top and the bottom. I've got one more page to go. A great thing if you are a singer and you're thinking, how do I sort my music out for my pianist? Do you know what? An ideal thing to do is have two scores. By the best day was when Someone came to me and said, singing in a masterclass, can you play for me? How would you like your score? Oh, you're in heaven then. And you know what? You will do the best job for your singer. Um, so I was so happy. And I said, for me, I really don't like separate sheets of music. Um, please could I have it as if it's like a book or ideally the book? Please could I have the book? And um, But they, they gave me the choice. They were so organised. All right. So then that one on the bottom, like that, okay, there you go, and there you have it. So it's really easy for you when you're turning your pages, you're not going to get lost the countless times when I'm saying, okay, let's turn to page five and someone can't find it. Um, there we are, and it's, it's also really satisfying, and you will have your music organised. If you have... If you are a singer and you are making copies for your pianist, you can do two sets of copies, great. One with just separate sheets. Some people do like to just turn their pages separately and slide them across. Some might prefer it like this. If you do, I would recommend if you're starting out and you're starting to make these photocopies, um, because it is very specific about the legalities of photocopying music, you know, check the rules and regulations. And when you have made a photocopy, take care of that photocopy because you made an effort to make it and you don't want to spend your career making countless copies because they get lost all over the place. So be organized with your copies. Say for example, you've got your arias in one book ready, then maybe you could purchase tabs, um, little page, like separate pieces of card and they've got the alphabet all the way down the side they're great I've got a whole bundle of those so that you would say oh my aria today is um what have we got um well I'm gonna sing I'm gonna sing a song by Barber I'm gonna sing art song today Barber and then you could just find your tab for B or you would just alphabetize them and then probably put them by genre and then that would be super organized for your pianist as well. And then make sure that you have your photocopy back so that you can file that nicely.
and use it in the future. So I hope that's been helpful. Um, as I say, do check the rules and regulations carefully. Ideally, always purchase the new book because it's so satisfying to have a lovely uh, repertoire and library of your own books and music. It feels so nice. But when you can't do that or it's a, a singer has handed you um, from their purchased copy the music from which you can play, then you can organise it like this. So I hope that's helpful and have fun.